As you can see, the prices of beer are much cheaper than in North America here. Check this out. Come here. Check out this. 45 cents. <laughs> 39 cents for Confell. I don't even know what this is. I've never tried that beer before. You should buy it just to try it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 there's another one. 29 cents. 29 cent. You rolling? Yeah. She goes, there's a 29 cent Pilsner right here. Let's get these cheap beers and we're gonna try them. Right now we're in Augustusplatz, the city center in Leipzig. Right there, that's the university. Right there's the Gavon house, where the orchestra plays. Over there, right across, is the uh, opera house. Catch a live musical theater show there, that's pretty cool. Leipzig's a beautiful city. There's a big fountain here. During the summer, kids are just playing in this. I mean, maybe not right now, because I guess they're in kindergarten, but it's like 30 degrees right now. Ah, oh, super cheap German beer. Let's see. Let's see if it compares to Lucky Lager or uh, it feels, Milwaukee. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it feels super weird though drinking in public. Like, yeah, I know. I still like have a stigma. I'm doing something wrong. I know. I know. <laughs> Just waiting for the police to come pour it out. Mm -hmm. Right now, on the Panorama Tower, you see the entire city from here. It's beautiful from up here, especially on a clear day like this. Right there, if you can see it, that's the city hall. <laughs> As soon as you want to go somewhere, people move right in front of you. It happens all the time. Tourists, man. One euro, I'm not paying for that. But right over there, that's a Hauptbahnhof. It's the uh, main train station in Leipzig. Right now I'm sitting in the Hauptbahnhof Leipzig, or the main train station here in Leipzig. It has 21 long distance train platforms, two underground and 19 above ground. It is the largest train station in the world by area. It even has a mall inside it. Johann Sebastian Bach. So there's a lot of information about the Thomas Kirsch here, except that it's all in German. So unless you can read German, you're not going to be able to understand. Thomas Kirsch. Bach is buried under there. Really old bones under there.
quickly and going down the streets. How many blocks I've covered already? Well... Can you read Braille? No, I just like how it feels. Right now I'm at the Leipzig Zoo. It's one of the greatest zoos there ever was. Actually, in fact, it is one of the best zoos in Germany, or even the best zoo in Germany. So we're gonna go in there and take a look. Honestly, I want this place. I want it to be my new super villain lair. There's sharks in here, you can feed your enemies to them. This guy. He looks dangerous. Look at these. These are super dangerous looking. See, that's what I'm talking about. Just pet your koi. Oh, what a good koi. There's no way I could be as lazy as a tiger. Honestly, who would ever look at one of these creatures and think to themselves, man, wouldn't it be cool if it was a ninja? Look at that guy, he's looking at me funny. That's the kind of playground that makes me wish I was still a child. <laughs> Took a <crap. laughs> Oh yeah. I think hyenas are pretty cute. They just got a bad rap. Because Disney threw them under the bus with the Lion King. Yeah, yeah I can do it better. <laughs> you can drink in a zoo. This is Karl Liebknechtstraße in Leipzig. This is basically party central if you're a student. Or if you're me, but from uh, as far as you can see that way and as far as you can see that way, there's nothing but pubs and bars throughout this whole street. It's a little pub, it's a pub, well not really a pub, it's a bar. You can't really get food here, but you can get drinks and you can play foosball. But of course, in Germany, foosball is soccer, so what is foosball in Germany? Well, it's kicker. And there's lots of lots of kicker tables in this bar. The 
Let's go to a shisha bar, why not? Just got real. That is real. <laughs> right now I'm sitting in front of the Bokoslav Denkmal, or in English, Monument to the Battle of Nations. It was built in 1913 to commemorate Napoleon's defeat here against the coalition army in 1813. The battle consisted of 600,000 soldiers and was the largest battle pre-World War I. The monument itself stands about 91 meters tall, 299 feet. About 500 steps for me to get to the top and any of my friend here, the cameraman Dylan News said they're going to have to go ahead and walk up those, with all our gear. So. So narrow walking up this these stairs and you guys walking and turn around with my backpack. Mm. You just keep going up, it's just tiny, tiny stairs. You're claustrophobic, that hell you have to make an So right now we're in the crypt. I mean these statues are pretty cool. It's like being in Game of Thrones or something. I really like these statues. I think they're pretty awesome. Good? <laughs> yeah. So apparently, at least on this brochure they gave me, that means right now we're sitting right here in the central outside galleries. Right here. If you look up, you can see these badass statues. Nice view up here too. We made it to the top. I'm gonna be honest, it'd probably be a lot easier to get up here if, if we weren't recording nightlife last night. But an amazing view up here. Can you watch my gear? I'm just gonna take a nap. Lots of penises in here. Penis. Over here is another penis. Mm -hmm. uh, penis right here. <laughs> Just a couple more penises. Very typical thing you say apparently or right right on walls is this penis, even in even in Germany. The higher you go, 
the higher the concentration of penis is. I honestly never thought I'd be walking around in a hundred-year-old monument looking for pictures of penises to take photos of.